So maybe you're just now getting into the higher grade collector grade stuff. In this video, we're gonna be comparing a Solido diecast model to that of an AutoArt composite diecast model starting right now. This is a comparison to see what the differences are between these two brands. That however, this is for the newbies and beginners that maybe they don't know what else is out there also. So that's another good thing. Okay, so I've removed the outer casing and before we move on from I'm taking the model car off its base. I just wanted to show you guys how Solito does it. Solito does it with a slip cardboard box. It's got this frame holding everything together in terms of preventing it from getting crushed. The car is here. It's held by four screws at the bottom and then you can take them off. It also comes with these side view mirrors separately and for very good reason because they probably don't want these side view mirrors to break. And then the auto art side of things encased in a styrofoam top and bottom. And then at below here, there will also be four screws that you can use to detach it. And then with the auto art, you've already got the side view mirrors here. Now we've got both of them out of their bases. And I wanted to show you these little picks. This one came with the Solito unit. This is used to open up the compartment. And I'll show you guys what exactly opens here in a second. Same with the auto art, gonna come with this pick as well to be able to open up all the different compartments on the auto art, which I will show you as well. Now let's talk about some quick similarities between both of these. Both of them are going to be 18 scale. Both of them are going to be Bayside Blue. Both are Nissan Skyline R34 GTRs. Both are gonna be die cast and with opening components. The only difference being that the Solito unit super heavy because it is a die cast metal body. And then the auto art is gonna be a composite die cast. So it's got a bit of plastic to it, which makes it lighter and a little bit more fragile. But 18 scale is pretty big. So we'll have to do this side by side on the table. So we'll put Solito here. We'll put auto art right here. Now let's talk about some of the differences in detail. We can take a look and start with the front. So the Solito front here, you can see the headlight details. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, both have plastic covers on them. However, the details on the auto art are definitely more defined. As you can see, the headlights right here, definitely showing off more of the detail as opposed to the Solito version, which only has two of those sockets right there. You can see a one, two, and then you've got three sockets on the auto art. Check it out. One, two, three. Both rocking the open grill here. Nice to see those little details right there in the grill. GTR badge, we've got turn signals here. We've got the orange turn signals here. We've got the clear smoke style turn signals here. Front bumper license plate. Take a look at this, the lower lip here. The Salido unit definitely having the lip, but it looks like it just has a little bit less detail as opposed to the auto art unit. The auto art unit showing a little bit more lines and it's also looking like it's a lot more well defined in terms of those details. One of the things you're gonna notice on the hood, you've got a vent here and you don't have a vent on this one. Now, maybe because this is a V-Spec 2 version and maybe this is more of a GTT version with some aftermarket goodies tacked onto it. Uh, maybe somebody can let me know down in the comment section below. Got washer nozzles here, washer nozzles there. Both got the windshield wipers, good details. Obviously side, side view mirror, you can see all that. Now let's move on to the side. Side of the car looking freaking awesome. Both cars actually present very well. We can start with the wheels. Both have the six spoke wheels that are from the factory. Both rocking the gold calipers, brake rotors. Brake rotors, actually a little bit more detailed on the auto art, you can see it here. And then take a look at the Solito unit. You can see some of the detail right there for those brake calipers and rotors. And then both have the GTR logo right here. Both have the amber side marker on the Solito, more a clear side marker here. You've got the side skirt in two pieces right there. Side skirt, two pieces on the Solito unit as well. You got the door handle, you got the side windows, the side sill here, quarter panel windows, the trim around the window, which give it a little bit extra detail. The way that the offsets are set up for the Solito, definitely not as fit and flush like the AutoArt as well. The AutoArt doing a way better job in making sure that the wheels to fender 
tire fitment is spot on. Rubber tires, and then one neat feature is that both have reciprocating turning feature for the front wheels, as you can see right here. Check it out. But Salido and AutoArt not doing a bad job on that. Something else we can look at from this profile, the paint finish looking very nice. The Salido, I will say, does have some orange peel to it. You can see it right here on the paint right there near the door. Whereas the Auto Art composite, not a single blemish. But now let's move on to the back. On the back, we've got the very signature stuff going on for the R34 Skyline. You've got the spoiler, you've got the rear wiper, and it looks like the wiper's in different locations. Salido showing it up on a little bit more on the high side, and it doesn't have that black around it where the wiper sits, as opposed to the auto art here, as you can see, sitting right there. Both have defrost details, the auto art defrost lines are a lot more detailed these are just black lines that go across the back it's got the speaker details there too moving on to the trunk and rear tail lights got the signature four tail light system going on here turn signals amber on both the lens on the auto art definitely looks a lot clearer a little bit more clean as opposed to the Salido unit got the logo here and badging now something to notice on the auto art the badging is actually little photo etched metal pieces whereas on here it's just stickers or decals same for the trunk hole as well. Third brake light here, another sticker for the Salido. Here we're dealing with another insert. You've got the rear reflectors here and you've got the dual exhaust and then you've got some additional details for the rear diffuser on the auto art. You can see it right here and on the Salido, kind of missing those details. Doesn't have those down there. Both got the license plates here as well. I kind of like the detail that they did for the Salido with the Japanese stuff on the license plate whereas auto art just going for more a standard license plate. Now now we've got to check out the amazing opening details on both of these guys and let's see who scored best on that. For this demonstration we're gonna do it one by one. We know that the Salido does have some opening details as you remember we do have that pick but let me show you guys exactly what opens on the Salido unit. You may have guessed it it is the door and not only one door obviously both doors are gonna open up just like that. The trunk does not open up, the hood does not open up on that, but with the doors open, you can also see some of the interior details that come to life. Some of the cool stuff that we get to see with the 18 scale are gonna be those details. The bigger you get when it comes to the scale, the more details you're gonna be able to see. So that's gonna be the driver's side, and then let's take a look at the passenger side. So not bad, Salido, making an opening die cast system with some extra details. You can see on the back side, the details for the rear seats. And I do love the trim around the seats for the carbon fiber type of look to it. Center display stuff, everything seems to be showing up there. Now, let's take a look at the auto art unit. Now, auto art gonna be showing itself off here with all the opening components such as the trunk. And then you've got the hood, and you even have a little hood prop for that. But we're not finished there, guys. We're also gonna have the doors. One door, two door. Twice as many opening details for the auto art. But let's take a close up look. You can see the details in the trunk it's got some carpeting there. You can see carpeting on the interior details of the back too, where the speakers are. It's got the rear seat details. Driver's side here, looking at the console, stick shift, chairs, everything is there. You got the door panels here. Probably pretty similar to that of Salido with just a little bit more extra detail. It's got some texturing to it here and stuff like that. And then moving on to the passenger side, details for the door. And on the center console area, I will definitely say that the details are a lot more prominent on the auto art. The little button details, the vents and things like that definitely look a lot more realistic. And then let's not forget this amazing engine bay with the infamous RB motor. So a lot of the details as you can see did go into this engine bay, something that Salido is missing. And maybe that's why it is a fraction of the price. Pricing is traditionally around like 60 to 70 dollars for the Salido unit and the pricing for the auto art typically around the 220 240 ish range but let's go ahead close these up and take a look at the bottom bottom of the Salido pretty simple details licensed 
from Nissan. So it is a legit product. A lot of brands coming out these days without anything. So the fact that Solito actually does the effort of doing that is actually a pretty big deal. And then the bottom of the auto art, gonna have about the same amount of details, but definitely a little bit more in terms of the accessories from the bottom, the cat, the transmission, even the exhaust, different color here. You got the diffuser going on right here, metal tips right there. You've also got the insignia about it being a legit model, officially licensed. It's got auto arts stuff on it, but definitely some cool details on the bottom of the auto art too. So question of the day, what did you think about the difference between these two brands? Would you invest your hard-earned money into something of higher quality, higher details, or would you just go with something like a Solido where it's more for the introductory type of collectors, lower quality, but still gets the job done? Let me know down in the comment section below so we can all talk about it. And if you enjoyed this video, you can check out some more videos in the next slide. I'll see you in those videos or my next video.